Good morning. It is a Wednesday and I thought I would vlog this day. I'm just laughing because I can see our doorknob is out. <laughs> and then we have paint everywhere. Um, Wes and I have been painting this landing. We painted this bedroom. I'm going to show you this bedroom. I'm going to do like a little bedroom reveal. Um, but I just have a few more paintings. I want to hang up a few more art pieces. Uh, so Wes is going to do that tonight. Little does he know. I haven't asked him yet, but that's what's going to happen. Um, and anyway, we've been painting just like the landing area. Here, I'll show you. I'll take you to it. I've shown you this before, but this is like where I do my selfies. But this is like our attic or third floor. We have a two and a half story um, level house. And so this is, these books were all in this like little nook, which we painted. Um, so yeah, we just did the trim and stuff. It's nothing like dramatic, but it feels better to have all that stuff done. And then we're going to get new um, carpet on the stairs, which I'm so excited about i don't know if i've ever been excited about carpet but these stairs are gnarly like you can see you can see this like part of the the house needs needs some primping so um i think it's going to feel really good when we get carpet on there but yeah this is just space that's wes's office and this is when you come upstairs so we painted the other side of the door so it's a rainy wednesday um poppy goes to school on these days so it's gonna be just kit and me and we're gonna to go to value village and then i have some really fun packages to open up hopefully i have one from dylan coming i uh hopefully fedex sometimes is just like they have like the estimate where it's like it should be here by today and then it like doesn't come so i'm like really hope um that that comes otherwise i'll continue this till to tomorrow just for <laughs> that unboxing um but i'm gonna show you something really fun um, from our kit. So and I'll show you what I'm wearing. So this is the uh, Sea New York dress. It's like a floral ditzy um, dress. They don't have like style names, but that's what they call it. And I absolutely love it as pockets, love. Um, and it's made of this like reamy fabric, which has this like beautiful, like vintage looking um, fabric. Look, look how pretty this is, this floral. I absolutely love it. So it's a little chilly this morning. It's going to get warmer this afternoon. So I got a vest from Arquette. I will show you. So I've been seeing all of these really beautiful Danish ladies, uh, Scandinavian ladies, wear vests over their dresses. So I thought I would give this a try. And this is it. I really, it took me a while to get used to this look, but I love it now. <laughs> I really like, um... I had actually got this in a large, so that's why I was more confident about getting this one in a medium. So I have to return the large still, but um, yeah, I really just really like how this extends your use of dresses into into cold weather. And in Canada, I really need that. So this is nice. I've searched high and low for something that's affordable because what you can find is like the designer stuff, like Isabel Moran um, and stuff on like net a porte and matches, which is fine. But like, this is something that I'm kind of testing out. So I want something more middle of the road that will last longer. And I really like our cat, even though they charge me duty and they charge you to return items from Canada. So don't, don't buy from them. <laughs> don't buy from them unless they fix that because that is just way too much money, extra money to spend on, on an item. Um, I can get my duty back on returns. Um, but yeah disappointed but anyway yeah i've been looking for the perfect vest this one is so soft and love it i have one from h&m coming to you just to test it out and i wanted to do a video on how to style style vests just in case it's a new thing for you because it's a new thing for me like i think of sweater vests when i think of sweater vests i think of like chandler from friends like that's my generation like we just kind of made fun of it um so i just really like this style now yeah this is cute anyway i have to go down and uh go get kit um, and we'll take you thrift shopping. And here's Kit. Oh, he's trying to escape. He uh, helps himself to the cereal uh, cupboard now. So we have to put a stop to that, but it's a snacky boy. Are you ready to get changed for the day and have a fun day? Kit and mom. This is going to be full of friends references. Maybe I'll make that a thing. All right, let's change your mom. Let's go. <laughs> I forgot I have a hair appointment today, so I can't go um, thrifting with with you all. But um, so this is what's gonna happen today. I'm gonna have my hair cut. I'm gonna show you our bedroom revealed tonight. 
and hopefully I have my dough in package. So that is my vlog uh, schedule. But um, I just wanted to talk about some of the fun renos that we're doing. Not really renos, and it's not really fun, <laughs> actually. So Wes and I, we came home from our cottage, and we decided that we wanted to sell this house at some point. So our cottage is actually bigger than this place. It's a house that is... Um, like some, some cottages here aren't winterized um, up north in, in Ontario. And so this cottage, our cottage is, and so we were able to be there um, in the winter during like COVID. And so it, it was like March and stuff. So it was still like, it was still cold. And like we went back in time when it comes to weather. But the space there is beautiful. We have way more space outside. Um, we have way more space inside. It's only two floors. So it was really lovely to be in. And so... And everything was there was like done. So there was a, con the previous owner was a contractor. And so everything was just like magically like done, beautiful. Um, nothing had to be updated yet. So that was really nice to move into and it just makes a cottage feel really like good. Like there's changes that we're making that are just extra. Um, but it was lovely. And so we came home to our house that's 140 years old and we haven't been able to really update it um, for a while because kit has been small we've been through just a lot and um recently and so we're like okay well eventually we want to sell and we want to take two years to basically do that and just fix this place up and i think the last thing we'll do is like a kitchen renovation but um our my and what prompted us to start doing this now is that our sister-in-law just sold her house in this summer and it was so much work. She did so much of it herself because her husband is a farmer and he's away so much of the time. And um, and then Wes's parents went up to help her too. And then it turned out she was like pregnant. She was at the early stages of pregnant pregnancy. So she didn't say anything, but she was exhausted. So I feel so bad. And they were like really happy with how like they left their house. And so I, they said that they're going to try and keep up with their new house, which also needs work. So they're exhausted from doing all of that. So we want to just slowly fix everything up, freshen everything up for selling it eventually, but also so that it feels nice in here. So one of the things we did actually was repainted the mantle, which is really nice. And what also makes this room feel good, which has nothing to do with painting, is this really pretty cabinet that we got at our cottage. It has so much storage in it. I'm very happy with it. I'll give you a better look in a minute. But that's, that's where we're at. So we're just painting a lot and it's awful. <laughs> but the results are really, really, really nice. And it's, it's mostly just freshening up. like, And everything just kind of turned into another project. I don't know if you ever started Renos and you're just like, oh man. And then you kind of notice everything else that needs to be done. So we wanted to move to our third floor in our cottage. Our, our bedroom is off, like as a different floor from the kids. So we're like, actually, that's fine. Um, cause we didn't initially want to do that be away from all of our children because we thought it was just kind of too far, but we did that all summer and it was fine. So we're like, okay, let's go do that because we have that bedroom upstairs that my sister moved out of. And then, then Lux will get her own room. Poppy I've mentioned doesn't sleep very well. So she needs her own room for when she like wakes up in the middle of the night and needs like just, um, some space to go back to sleep and she can be like a little bit louder because I was always afraid of her. I'm always afraid of her waking up Lux. Um, and so so we moved out. We moved out of our bedroom. And then we noticed that everything kind of needs to be fixed. Our, our walls are lath and plaster. Um, and the girls' room was my office. And that needed to be, re, like, we re-insulated that one that has drywall in it. Down here is all drywall. So we've been slowly doing it. But anyway, so that room, we're not gonna re-drywall it yet, so we're just repairing the cracks. And by we, I mean Wes's dad, he's amazing. I can't believe he's doing that. And so we started doing that room. So I'm like, oh, okay, we actually have to paint that room, Poppy's new room. And then he started doing Kit's room because Kit's room also needed to be repaired. So now we have to paint Kit's room. <laughs> so now we're painting everything. And, um, but it's actually, it's looking really nice and it makes us feel kind of um, excited about the house. Wes's mom is really motivating. She loves doing up her house. She takes fall. She doesn't like fall very much. She loves summer. And so she takes fall to kind of work on her home and get it ready for winter, which she actually doesn't mind. She finds it a very cozy season. And I really love that attitude and perspective. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I know. Here's your bowl. Thank you. Do you want more? Yeah. I'll have to get Kit more of a snack. 
we taught him to sign do sign language like for the word more and now he just says more all the time <laughs> that he wants to eat <laughs> but anyway we're just really excited to yeah do all these changes to this house um the next thing up is our kitchen was painted the island which is removable and we bought it separately but all my stuff is everywhere that's why like we have these stools here and my kitchen is a mess i'm not even going to show you because it's a nightmare and then we're going to paint the walls in the kitchens <laughs> we're just painting everything uh, updating lighting and that kind of stuff so that's where we're at but i'm gonna get this hungry boy a snack and uh i actually have a gap order i've been trying to find jeans and that just arrived so maybe i'll show you that too okay snacks and then i'll go for my haircut in a minute that's full of just like uniform stuff for the girls and then um some jeans for me and then so this is the cabinet that i got so this is from just an antique store that is near our cottage and this is tea because i was really excited to Get it she had it for sale they have a main store and then a warehouse and we always go to the warehouse for the deals and they had um this on for 7.95 i think and then it was on sale for 3.95 i think it was 3.95 and then it was 20 percent off so we ended up paying 305 for it so i'm really happy with that um that seems pretty i think that's a really good price everything that i've been looking at is way more than that so i've never i haven't gotten anything since I've been looking, which has been since March. We got this mirror at a thrift store and then I wanted it for this space because we have our dining room here and our living room here. And I wanted something right here for storage. And this has so much storage, I'm so happy with it. So um, yeah, I wanted one from Target, but they don't ship to Canada anymore. And then during COVID, all the furniture, and even now all the furniture is bath ordered. So finding furniture right now is really challenging and then if you do find it, then it costs like $300 to send it <laughs> to Canada. Oh, shopping right now is very challenging. But um, we found this and I'm so happy with it. So we have these three drawers. So I have magazines here. This is puzzles. This is just kind of stuff that the girls have to ask for. And then this is, yeah, scissors and glue. And then, yeah, and here's like crafts, um, coloring books, etc. Um, markers and then um, this is their media box this is like headphones and iPads and then uh, puzzles and crafts in progress yeah that's a great size it's kit for scale what do you think it and it's actually a nice standing desk height so I usually have my laptop there that's what I'm really happy with all right on to my haircut Just so nice and fresh to get my roots done and my hair curled, even though I was out in this windy day <laughs> being blown away. But yeah, that feels nice. Um, so my dorm package got pushed to tomorrow, just like I thought, but they at least said like um, that they were gonna do that and they gave a reason because sometimes it'll say out for delivery until like five and then they won't change it to like tomorrow till eight. So now I know it'll be here tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because um i'll show you the bedroom reveal tomorrow and then what i got from doing um tomorrow too and so yeah so i can get all that stuff all cleaned and ready for the bedroom reveal etc because the rest of the day is just me working and picking up the kids and that's it very low-key day so i will see you tomorrow with the bedroom reveal and my dorm package guess what's here doing i also have something to show you from they curated and then yesterday I mentioned I got some grab jeans I'm wearing a pair and then this is another pair that I will try on for you because I'm on the fence so they need to be tried on again so I'll show you what I'm wearing today this is the curated cashmere turtleneck I have never owned anything cashmere before and goodness gracious it is good <laughs> wow you know in Seinfeld where uh, George just wants to drape himself in velvet I would definitely drape myself in cashmere because it is so soft i can't even believe it um this is actually a really lovely gift from nicola the curated um founder and designer she yeah sent this to me as a thank you for one of the reviews i did of their coats which i'll link up here 
um, which is so, so nice. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about their brand. So like, this is the nicest thing that she could have done. Um, and it's really nice. And it's also going to push me into some sort of addictive cashmere edge where I'm going to just start collecting it because it's all <laughs> really lovely and she has some really nice styles. So she, she has this turtleneck also in black. The neck is quite long, so you can probably, I just kind of left it. You can probably fold it over nicely, but I really love that. And then this is kind of like um, a light beige, almost like a bone. Like it's not yellow. It's a really lovely, almost like oatmeal color, which I like. I don't look really good in anything that's too yellow based, I would say. Um, so yeah, beautiful. It's so soft. I just want to fall asleep right now. <laughs> Anytime I wear something soft, I'm immediately relaxed. And so I've been really loving wearing this today. It is so nice. I can't wait to wear it like throughout winter. And then on the bottom here, these are my new Gap cigarette jeans. So I had have these, I, I just got a hole in the knee, um, from the summer. And they're just a really nice flattering jean. I love dark jeans. So I was really happy to see this style. And this has a raw, so this has a raw hem. And this is the regular length. I'm 5'3", my inseam is really short. I would say, I wanna say about a 28. And these in a petite are too short for me. So this is more of a cropped style. So if you are under 5'3", um, you should try these. I will link them in the description box below to, I'll do it to Gap Canada and Gap US if everything transfers. Um, but yeah, I just highly recommend these. I've tried so many like Levi's recently and I can't find any that I like. The rise is nice and high. I want to say it's like an 11 and a half rise. The new ones that I have are 12 inch rise. So I was really excited to try that. I love a high rise jean. And yeah, it's just like a nice, it's not skinny, but it's just like a nice width. The leg, really like these. And then these are my Cezanne Jack sneakers. And then I'm wearing Collegian socks. These are actually kid size socks. So if you, my shoe size is a seven and a half um, and you will fit into the biggest Collegian kid size that Doan sells, so snap those up. Um, I also can get them from PetiteVillains.com. It's um, a British Columbian company, and they have collegiate shoe st uh, sock stuff too for kids, so I will link both of those below. Yeah, this is my outfit of the day. I'm so excited to open up my hearty, hearty top from Doan, and I'll try on um, those jeans too for you. This was how the sweater came this is like a really lovely car and like a really nice thank you so it's a female founded label and it's just like honest prices and just like luxurious pieces i can't believe it and it comes with a comb and some extra thread lovely just lovely lovely unboxing um experience i'm gonna have that on my instagram stories on my kate boss edit if you ever want to check that out what it actually looks like when it arrives um, all right, we'll keep this in suspense and I'll show this for you. And I'm going to try it on with the sparrow top, which is cropped. So we'll see if that works together because that's my shortest top. And these are the, um, straight legged ones. I'll tell you, I'll show you what they're, um, exactly called, but these are a brand new style. Um, and so yeah, they have a 12 inch rise, which is very high. It's still not up to my belly button. Um, I, I have a long, like, this area, pelvis, belly button area. <laughs> but, um, so I can never find anything that's quite up to my belly button. But, uh, yeah, and then this is the straight leg. It almost, it almost looks like it flares out a bit. And it's, it is too long. So this is what it looks like with shoes and then with, without. And this is a petite length. So that's kind of weird to me. So I could, I could always get it hemmed. Which might make a difference. But I'm just trying to decide if the leg length works. I'm posting this tonight, actually. So everyone let me know if I should keep these or not. I really like the wash. Um, but yeah, I'm just not sure about the leg length. Or the leg width. Hmm. Uh, let me show you what we're doing now. This is the dark one that I was wearing. So it's a cigarette high rise. And it's the 28 waist or six regular. So it's the regular length. And then yeah, it's it has the raw 
hem edge. Not all of them have this, so the different washes have different hem lengths. So you can check that out too. I just really love a dark jean. Um, and that these are really nice and just basic, really nice basic jean. And then these are the, the light ones are the sky high straight. So I'm wearing a 28 in these ones as well. And then it's a 6P, so it's a 6 petite, but they're not, not petite. I would say these fit big. Um, 28 is my old pre-pregnancy size and I'm definitely not back down to that like weight or size. So I would um, size down in these definitely. Party. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I'm gonna give it a quick steam and then try it on for you. But this is the, um, maybe I'll do the color closer to the window. This is the print. And it's pinker than I thought it was gonna be because everything, I feel like they always have like a yellowy filter on um, their stuff and uh, on their photos. And it's made out of viscose and cotton but it's it's warmer to the touch than that usual blend that they have because they have a lot of tops in that blend um and this feels this, this feels softer which is really nice like almost like it's like a brushed cotton i've loved this style ever since they came out with their first blue one last fall um last fall last winter but it's like it's pricey right if, if you look at that you're like oh man that's just a top but um, I've wanted it ever since, and so I think I've I think I've given it a good thought for a good year, and so I finally took the plunge because this print is beautiful. Um, but yeah, let me try it on for you. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty boxy style. I have the Henry, which I love. It's one of my favorite tops. Um, and then yeah, I got this in a size small, so I will try it on for you. And this is what the color and print looks like, just against a window, so all natural light. Very pretty. Hi. And then this also comes in a rose top. I don't think this is at all sold out, so you could probably save and wait for it. Um, for their, they usually do a sale in November. Last year was a Giving Thanks sale, and who knows, they might do something for the election this year. But yeah, lovely, lovely, very, very good first impression. This is lovely. This is. It's really nice when you when you like steam or iron something because then you can kind of really get another uh, level of um, appreciation for the fabric. And this is really really nice. This is yeah. This if you would have told me this is 100% cotton, I would have believed you. Um, it feels really nice to the touch. The the sleeves feel a bit cold for some reason, but when you feel it with your fingers, um, it's so nice. And this this feels really great because it's like a double faced ruffle so it's the same fabric on the back on the front and oh lovely so it has pleats here that are released that's the tag so you can see how sheer it is it's so just a little it's semi sheer but you can you because they have so much more fabric up here like pleated together and with the ruffle i always find that it's pretty forgiving i'm also wearing like a pretty bright bra like i usually do but yeah this is nice it has like um a shorter length so that's where my high rise jeans are. Like I said, this is an 11 and a half inch rise and I'm 5'3". So it looks good and in proportion when it's out, untucked. I'll show you what it's what it looks like tucked in in a minute. But And then this is um, a pleated sleeve, which isn't too tight, which is nice. I find that their sleeves have been too tight that have elastic. So the, these are not elastic, but they um, roll up easily. So I will show you what that looks like right now and this is it tucked in oh, this is such a nice top it's such a classic I've, I've liked my henry the short sleeve version for a long time and i have the piper i think it's called in the white and it's just a stud and i have the poet <laughs> in a black and it's a long dress version in uh the black poppy i got that during their sale in the summer and yeah oh this is nice it fits really well. My bust is about 34 and a half inches, and this is a size small. Very nice. Very nice top. Good morning. It is Friday. I didn't intend for this vlog to go this long, but it has been so gloomy 
um, the past this whole week actually. So it has been really hard to kind of show you the bedroom reveal, which I'm going to show you right now, um, in such a dark, um, dark days because it's actually a very dark room. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll show you the landing too, but first I'll show you what I'm wearing, which you saw because I just unboxed it. <laughs> but here's my outfit. And this is the Hardy day. Day I've actually like it unbuttoned a little bit, so maybe I'll do that right now to show you. Um, but I was walking around, Kit and I were having a nice walk together, and I wore it just like this, which is really nice. I like being able to wear tops untucked because sometimes they come untucked anyway, and I like when they look nice untucked. And then these are the gap jeans that I was wearing yesterday. So okay, let me show you the space. When you come upstairs, this is the landing. And we have the bathroom right there, and then we put up some artwork last night. And cleaning, um, yeah, all of these. So this space is really beautiful. I kind of want, because we have this window right behind me, I kind of want to put a rug here, and then my office chair. So eventually I think I'll have my desk right here, but I just need something really small because I have it, my desk just around the corner in Wes's office. But there's going to be times where we need to work at our desks at the same time and we do not like working in the same room. <laughs> We've done that before and no, we're not doing that again. So for art, this is from Claire Alcelse, Alcelser. She is a French um, artist and she's on Etsy so I'll link all of the stuff below. She's beautiful. I have like three or four of her pieces and it's just a print but it's beautiful. And then this is Jessica Rose. Jessica Rose is a Canadian photographer, but she lives in um, California right now. I'm not sure if she still sells prints because I tried to get one the other day, like a couple weeks ago, and her site, her shop was down. So um, I'll link what I can, maybe just to her stuff. And then this is this is like a, a photograph from the south of France, which I think is so beautiful. This is kind of like my French themed, I should do a French themed landing up here. And then this one, was a charity piece, I forget. It was for the ACLU, um, and I forget where I got it, but I'll look it up in my email, and I'll have that linked below too, the company that I got it from. I think mean, this is really beautiful. And then my dried hydrangeas, and then I'll show you our bedroom. And this is our bedroom. So we painted every square inch of this. This is Rainy Afternoon by Benjamin Moore. Um, it's this beautiful green I love so much. Um, and then we have this pink chair from Structube. This is downstairs, but it's velvet. Um, and the kids were starting to make it a little bit messy. So I'm like, oh, all my nice things must go to the third floor now. And then we have blinds up, which I want to get different Ikea ones that you just push up and they're a little bit sheer. These curtains are from Ikea. The curtain rod, which is a champagne color, is from Home Depot. This is an old headboard from Costco. The duvet cover is from H&M, like old H&M, and it has this really pretty gold in it, if you can see. Yeah, I love that. My This rug is Loi Loi, and I got it from overstock.ca, and it's screen printed. And there's no pile so this is a different kind of rug um, than I'm used to but it's very thin and it uh, so you can like sweep it which is really nice because I do not want to like truck our vacuum all the way up here and I just love this so much it looks a little bit warmer online but I would say it's definitely more on the cool side but it has a lot of color that you can play with it's very very pretty um, and it lays flat like immediately once you get it the nightstands are from Ikea. They're actual wood. So it's it, they're a very nice um, nice piece, I think. And they're nice and like small. And then you can also have some storage, like my messy books. Um, this pink ottoman is also from Stucktube. The vintage, the basket is like vintage. I found it secondhand. And that's a vintage quilt. I'm eventually going to put a print by Jamie Beck up here. A photograph I got from her isolation creation will have that linked below and that's pretty much it 
this artwork. This is from an artist called Hans Paws, and I actually found this at Value Village, and it's beautiful. Do you see the gold? I've always wanted like almost an impressionistic painting that has gold in it, and I just love this because it's not too abstract. You can tell that it's an actual scene, and I just I'm so happy with that one. And then this is another print by Jessica Rose. Isn't that beautiful? She also took this in France. And then this is a potato box. <laughs> Wasn't I did this one thing this sum one summer, actually we did it two summers, called the world's longest yard sale. And it's in the States and it's like on a sleepy highway and it's for like days and like along the highway, like it's through like a couple States, starts in the South and like, it's so much fun. Um, so there's so much to go through. Oh, we definitely want to do that again someday, which I would 100% vlog, but yeah, this is like a really cool vintage piece that has been in everybody's room and now it's in mine for like storage for like makeup and stuff. Yeah. So that is this space. There's a couple of things, yeah, I'm gonna change here and there, but I just have to wait to find the right piece. Um, hopefully secondhand, like a, like a little desk over here. Where's my hand? Like I was mentioning, um, something like maybe some lamps and something behind the nightstands, um, just to add some more like whimsy and make it homey in here. But we're really happy with this space. It's so nice. It's really dark, but we love that vibe. Um, especially Wes, he loves, um, like he loves sleeping when there's like absolutely no light. <laughs> he loves sleeping in pitch black. I actually don't like that at all, but um, here we are. And um, I just think this is a very cozy room. Or maybe a floor lamp too, getting all these ideas. So there's lots of possibilities. I'm very excited about this room. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions and, and if you like it. <laughs> so I'll end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.